this is the ship brain identification uh, this uh, the middle portion this is the medial longitudinal uh, fissures it se which separates the right cerebral hemisphere and left cerebral hemisphere this is the right cerebral hemisphere and left cerebral hemisphere the outer covering of the sheep brain is called dura mater this uh, white covering uh, this is the dura mater that encloses the brain <coughs> The cerebrum. The, uh, this is the cerebrum. Cerebrum. Uh, this is the largest and most complex uh, portion of the brain. Uh, its function is it, it interprets sensory input and controls uh, skilled skeletal muscle movements. It is also involved in the emotional and intellectual process. The cerebrum. Next, <clears throat> uh, there are groups called sol solci, and the singular is sulcus. This, uh, this one, this is sulcus, or solci, the plural. Then the grooves. This is the group. These are the grooves. This one, grooves, uh, called gyri in plural, and the singular is gyrus. Yeah, these are the Jerry. <coughs> then next, uh, the, sh um, the brain is uh, composed of uh, 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 lobes. The anterior portion of uh, the brain is called frontal lobe. This one, this frontal, this is frontal lobe. This portion, frontal lobe. <coughs> It controls uh, motor functions. The next is the <coughs> parietal lobe. <coughs> it can be found at the dorsal part of the frontal lobe. This is parietal lobe. Parietal lobe. In here, parietal lobe. Uh, it receives and processes somatic sensory information. The next is uh, the occipital lobe in here. Occipital lobe at the posterior of the <coughs> frontal lobe or posterior part of the cerebrum posterior because it is at the back of the cerebrum occipital lobe uh, it, its main function is uh, for visual processing yeah occipital lobe the next is cerebellum uh, this is this is cerebellum this one cerebellum <laughs> It is inferior to it is inferior to cerebrum, inferior because yeah it's at the bottom of the cerebrum. This is cerebellum, inferior to cerebrum. <coughs> yeah, this is part of the, uh, the cerebellum is part of the brain that uh, controls <coughs> muscle coordination, balance and muscle coordination. Yeah, the cerebellum. The next is uh, arbor vitae. The arbor vitae it can be found in the cerebellum. This one it is like a branch of tree. Yeah, this is arbor vitae. The next um, brainstem. <coughs> the brainstem. Uh, it composed of a uh, midbrain, pons, and medulla. The midbrain is here. Here, the midbrain is here. Midbrain. <coughs> then the pons is here. Pons. Pons. Then medulla oblongata here. This one. This is medulla oblongata. Pons. Then midbrain. The midbrain, uh, it is uh, in in between the pons and uh, diencephalon. Diencephalon is here. Then the pons, this pons, this is called pons. <coughs> it is superior. It is superior to medulla oblongata. Medulla is here. 
So, upon si superior to medulla oblongata. <coughs> Uh, its main the main function of pons is <coughs> it's for uh, breathing and breathing function. Then medulla oblongata here, medulla oblongata is most inferior portion of the cerebrum. It contains cell bodies of neurons that synapse with neurons of the olfactory nerves. Then next is the olfactory bulb. Uh, it lies below the frontal lobe of cerebrum. <sighs> Olfactory bulb is here. Uh, where is it? This one, olfactory bulb. Yeah. The next is optic chiasma. Uh, it is a crossing point of the optic nerves. Optic chiasma is in here. Olfactory ball. Uh, optic crook. The olfactory, where is it? Where am I? Olfactory bulb is here. Pituitary. Then pituitary gland here. Pituitary gland. Yeah. Pituitary gland. This is pons. Yeah, this one pons. Okay. Okay. Where am I? Corpus callosum. This is corpus callosum. This one. Corpus callosum. Corpus callosum. Yeah, this is corpus callosum. Uh, it is white fiber uh, tracks. This is white fiber tracks communicating between the left and right hemisphere. Corpus callosum. Next, um, lateral ventricle. Lateral ventricle is here. In here, lateral ventricle. In the middle here. It is located in each cerebral hemisphere because the right cerebral hemisphere also has lateral ventricle here. <coughs> yeah, lateral ventricle here, corpus callosum, this white one. The next, um, septum pellucidum, septum pellucidum. There, septum pellucidum in here. Small spot. Septum pellucidum is a thin transparent membrane located inferior to corpus callosum. It is inferior to corpus callosum. Thin transparent membrane. So corpus callosum, lateral ventricle here in the middle, then septum pellucidum, 
the thin transparent membrane interior to the corpus callosum. Then for uh, third ventricle, third ventricle here at the bottom. Here third ventricle here third ventricle. Uh, third ventricle is medially located between the paired masses of the thalamus and is narrower and smaller than other ventricles. Then fourth ventricle is located between pons. The fourth ventricle is here. Okay, let me. Fourth ventricle is here, located between pons and the cerebellum. Uh, the fourth ventricle it connects to the third ventricle by a cerebral aqueduct. Cerebral aqueduct is a thin tube or waterway. Uh, I think this is the cerebral aqueduct. Then next, and anyway, ventricles are fluid filled spaces in the brain that are filled with cerebrospinal fluid. The next, thalamus is here, thalamus, this one, thalamus, yeah, thalamus, it is, uh, it is composed of paired egg-shaped bodies centrally located in the encephalon, and it makes up 80% of the structure. The main function of thalamus is it relays all sensory input to the cerebral cortex. It, also, it is also involved in skeletal muscle actions and memory processing. Then next, uh, hypothalamus. Uh, hypothalamus. Oh, is Hypothalamus is here. Hypothalamus. Uh, its main function is it controls body functions and homeostasis. It is also included in the controlling and integrating of the pituitary gland and hormonal functions. Next, the midbrain. Okay, midbrain is here. Midbrain here. Then pons here, pons. Then medulla oblongata. This is the spinal cord. Then next, um, what else? Superior colliculi, colliculus. Superior colliculus is here. Superior colliculus. Yeah. Then inferior colliculus is here. Inferior colliculus. The superior colliculus it has a reflex centers which involve in the eye, head, and neck movements with visual stimuli stimulation then the inferior colliculus it, ha it has reflex centers which involve in auditory stimuli that results in head and trunk movements and what else this is the cerebellum arbor vitae ah yeah uh, transverse fissure in here the transverse fissure it separates the cerebellum and the cerebrum so this 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 gap this space is called transverse fissure okay then uh, let's uh, no. let's cut this here
this is the white matter and this is the gray matter gray matter and that's all for the shipping identification